there. This is going to be an intimate reading. I don't know what we're gonna... <laughs> it's like opening... <laughs> it's like opening Pandora's box anytime I shuffle this intimate deck. So I don't know what we're gonna get from it, but this is a disclaimer that this deck contains sexual images. We will be talking about sexual things. So if you're a child or if you don't like talking about fun things, click the fuck off now, please. I want to just say thank you to everybody who's been so understanding this past, you know, week. Emails have been taking me longer. I've been asking for people not to send repeat emails because then it just clogs my shit up. You know, I've been going through a, some stuff personally. And so, you know, it's taking me a bit longer to do things <clears throat> because I'm trying to spread some stuff out. So, thanks you guys. Reminder, this is general. It's not going to resonate with everybody, okay? Um, and I just I just saw in my head a book close. I mean, we've been talking about this completion, cycles closing, things of that sort. Feels very final. I don't know what happened or what's going to be happening because I'd say it's it's going to be within. If it didn't happen yet, within a week and a half, seven to ten days, it's like this finality. I don't know if there's something you're actually waiting for. Like some of you could be waiting for divorce, waiting for actual paperwork or something finalized, right? Or if it's this realization almost of the door is finally closed and I'm seeing it and I'm feeling it energetically and now I'm ready. I don't know what it's going to be. All right, let's see. This is the Tarot of Sexual Magic deck, I think it's called. All right, we got a bunch. Whoo, boy, oh boy. Well, eight of wands, that's a shift and communication. I just did a reading a couple days ago on my Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi, and the very first card was the eight of wands. And as I had talked about, let me just show you this card for a bit. I want you to take note of that like ladder in the background where it's kind of like a stairway or ladder to another portal, another dimension almost, 5D and 3D, smooshing together. Uh, Eight of Wands traditionally is a card of communication, can be travel, but what I felt very strongly the other day when I pulled it in the traditional deck was Cupid's arrow. Somebody's gonna fall in love somebody's gonna get hit by Cupid's arrow. I was joking and I was saying that if you're gonna hit me with Cupid's arrow, you better fucking shoot the other one next time too. We better both get hit. I don't mind falling in love. I, I always say this. I, it's not that I'm afraid to fall in love. I'm afraid to be the only one. This would be mutual though. I can see it in the cards and I can feel it. But this initial you take me to another place that's what i'm feeling that's why i told you see that that staircase that ladder going to another dimension another portal it's like when i'm with you the world disappears and it's like we go into our own i was gonna say heaven and i hesitated and they said yes it's like heaven It really is like the 5D coming together with the 3D and this is what it really is. It's like everything you could have ever imagined or wanted in a relationship or connection, here it is. And if you can see in the picture, she's like offering up her titties. She's like literally sticking them out and offering them up and he's sucking on them. Feeding him. He's feeding her with food, she's feeding him with the nip. It's like they're both satisfying each other. And in different ways, yes, but the bottom line is, is that they're both satisfying each other, okay? Now, you have here the Two of Swords with the Ace of Chalices. Ace of Chalices is Ace of Cups. And you have the Five of Pentacles. Two of Swords can be indecision. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want. I'm not sure. I don't know how to feel. It's overwhelming. That's what I just heard in my head. I heard somebody's going to say to someone else. I don't think it's both people, to be honest with you, because I feel like one saying it to the other. It's overwhelming. 
because it's this feeling of the ace of chalices which is the ace of cups i feel like somebody wasn't expecting to fall madly deeply truly in love like this the ace of cups or ace of chalices is true love my cup runneth over motherfucker it's so much i can't contain the emotions that i feel it takes over me it's intimacy it's everything right and then here's the two of swords someone's indecisive kind of pulling away i feel someone has this one moment where they go it's overwhelming it's a bit much I remember back in the day, Five of Pentacles, I remember back in the day, how when I invested everything into a person, they ghosted me, or they dug the fuck out, or when I put all of my eggs in one basket, it was the wrong investment. I chose the wrong person, I chose the wrong cup. I'm afraid, because am I feeling the same things that I was feeling that, that other times I got burned, or is this different? It's like, Someone here is trying to use discernment. Sorry, I forgot these cards fell over. As they always do. They're always like screaming to get my attention. And a lot of the cards are just not the right way. So give me one second. Um, because I don't read reversals unless they tell me to leave it. This is a connection of two people that uh, one is very, 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 very sure. Now, is this a new person? It totally can be a new person, but can all, it can also be an old motherfucker too. It could be. And I know many people are like, new, I want the new. Well, the olds come back in and they're not the right vibration or you don't feel nothing for them at all. And it's simple, right? Remember I tell you guys, ABCs, one, two, threes. We don't entertain things that are not good for us, that don't deserve us, and that we ain't feeling. If I'm not feeling you, get to fucking step in, boo. I've got to have this punani throbbing. I've got to have, I've got to be moist when I think about you in order to entertain you. Now, we don't settle. At 41 years of age, I'm not settling for nothing, honey. I need to have it all, okay? Now, this is, this is looking like, oh, this is looking like the one. Something tells me too, it's, it's, it catches you off guard. You or them. Remember, it's general, right? So you can reverse the roles. Just catches somebody really off guard. Someone here could have been burned by this person in the past, which is why, you know, when they come back in, they're extremely hesitant. Now, see, the nine of chalices, the nine of cups. You are everything. You are my wish come true. I realize this now. See, if they, I, this is why I started talking about somebody owed. If somebody owed comes back in, that's the kind of shit they're going to say. They're going to say some shit like, you're the one, I should have saw it then, I didn't realize. This is the thing, is that we go through phases, right, in our life, and I've been there too. We are never fucking perfect, and we don't ever exclude ourselves from the fuckery, because we done entertained the fuckery and served it out ourselves before, okay? Period. We've been there where we may have not made the best choices, because, well, maybe I was what our karmic lesson was in that moment, is to choose the wrong things and to fuck up, because that's the only way sometimes we learn. You have to learn the lesson. This feels like, if it's a person from the past, okay, this is one scenario, where they're going to come back in and go, I've been out there, and I can't find someone who makes me feel like you do. I've been with other people, and all they've done is let me down or i can't trust them or there's no connection there whatever this is this has this feeling of we've had our time of separation and i get it now because i've grown and i've learned you know this is important that we need to go through our own growing process and 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 each people i can't even talk each person needs to be separate in their own cocoon to grow their own wings, you know? So it, it's sometimes the period of separation is necessary. And sometimes a person comes back into our life after a period of separation and we go, I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry, I want to feel it, but I don't. And then sometimes someone will come back from your past and you go, it never ended. Like this feeling, it's even stronger now than it was then. This is discernment that we're going to use, okay? Now, if this is a person that is new into your life, they're going to come in and it's going to be like, 
I can't, you're too good to be true because you're every single thing that I asked for. You, I, if I were to write a list, I'm checking off everything on this fucking list. Are you bullshitting me? Are you, are you full of shit? The, um, you know, because it feels like it's everything on your list. You manifested this. And you deserve it. Accept that. For some of you where you really are getting true, real deal, ace of cups shit, and they're the one, and they're really high vibe, like a king or an emperor or a queen or an empress, accept it. Accept your blessings. Accept that you fucking deserve it. You deserve this. Yes, I know sometimes we go, oh, but God, what if it's too good to be true? If, if you see the red flags, run. But at the same time, don't deny yourself blessings just based on, well, but what if? Well, what if the road ends tomorrow? We don't know. Shit. Nothing is guaranteed. We use extreme, we, we use caution and judgment. <sighs> Somebody's getting everything they want. The ace of chalices with the nine of chalices, nine plus one, that's ten. Ten of chalices is a ten of fucking cups. Somebody here is getting everything they want. Mm. Or realizing you were everything that they've ever wanted. You're the one that I want. You're the one that I want. See, eight of swords, somebody is obsessed and they can't stop thinking about it. It's mental entrapment. See how he's clutching the bed too? It's as if like he's trying to find willpower. Like, mm, because see, they're not fucking. See that? They're not fucking. They're not being intimate at the, that very moment. It's almost as if he's trying to hold himself back from being intimate with her. Or something about it. There's something that he's trying to hold himself back from. Because he's clutching the bed as if trying to find willpower. Like, mm. it's and, and Eight of Swords is this energy of mental entrapment. I'm stuck in my head. Now, for this can go both ways, okay? So this could be someone that's trying not to be intimate and stick it in. And trying to find the willpower. And this can also be somebody who is just afraid to take it to that next level because of everything that they've been through, whoever's been through some fuckery. They're just afraid. These are two eights also. Eight is infinite. Eight is abundant. But also the number eight could be very relevant to some people. Because while I'm talking to you, I keep seeing eight. No, I don't, and it ain't infinity, or they would say infinity. It's the number eight, okay? Somehow, some way, this is relevant. I don't know if it's been eight years, eight months, eight days, eight weeks, something, something with the eight. I don't know if this is a birth month, birthday, I don't know going to be very different for everybody okay because they're just showing me eight i know it's going to be a wide range of different things because they're not saying very specifically like sometimes i'll see really specifically eight weeks no this just says eight so it could be god knows what um this person here is trying to hold themselves back they're also trying to get out of their head they can't stop thinking about it it's as if and then this is a thing too i feel that if you haven't had sexual intercourse yet if you haven't stuck it in the thing if you haven't put it in, this person is almost holding themselves back from putting it in because they feel like they know and you know and you, and they know and you know and you know that they know and they know that you know this. That once it put it in, it's a done motherfucking deal. Call it, call, it's a motherfucking wrap. It's gonna be a motherfucking wrap because it will seal the deal. It will, <laughs> it's like, it is like when people get married and they, and, the, and, the, and you gotta go and have sex. I forget what they call it. Um, there's a fucking name for it and I know what it is and it's on the tip of my tongue. I just can't think of it at this moment where, you know, you guys are making it official, consummating it. There we go. It's like a consummation of it. Once you stick it in, it's done. And once you stick it in, it's like this man feels like he's claiming you because you're allowing him into your private space, your punani, right? Your power of the puss. It's. I'm going to enter into this and he, and, and he's not stupid. This motherfucker know that if you're giving him that power, he's in. I, I, I'm cautious. I have to be cautious around you. I cannot just, I have to have extreme willpower when it comes to you. 
I cannot get you out of my head. This is what I'm feeling they're saying. They're thinking. I cannot stop thinking about you. I want to talk to you 24-7. I, I want to be with you. I want to touch you. I want to smell you. I want to taste you. I cannot get this out of my head. It's like an obsession. Eight of Swords can be like an obsession where I cannot, it's mental, right? I cannot stop thinking about this. I can't get it out of my head. For some of them, it could have been you guys did stick it in the first time and they just can't stop thinking about it. Or for some people, it's from the past. Like you guys have been intimate before and they just can't get it out of their heads. Knight of Wands, you know, sexual energy. The Knight of Wands can be very fast moving energy. Something happens very fast and impulsively. Could have been how you guys met. This could be very symbolic of sexual the sexual encounter happens like sorry the sexual encounter happens quickly um knights are impulsive the knight of swords and the knight of wands they're very impulsive the knight of pentacles no <laughs> but those two knights are very impulsive this is a very impulsive Someone falls impulsively. I, I just keep seeing the word fall. I just keep seeing fall. I fell. I fell. I fell. It's a lot of cards, but we're going to take it. We got justice. This could be a Libra. And it has that number eight on it too. See, I told you it's something with eight. See on the card, Roman numeral eight. She's gorgeous too. Something's being delivered. It's karmic justice. It's like a karmic payout. Something's being delivered karmically. Three of Pentacles, two of Chalices, two of Cups. Are you kidding? Ace of, Ace of Chalices, Ace of Cups, not two of Cups. So three of Pentacles, two of Chalices, and the High Priestess. I want to talk about the high priestess first because that's what they're telling me look at how gorgeous she is she's kind of elusive she's covered up she's kind of doing her own thing she's out in nature the high priestess is this energy of trust of cool calm and collected this it's an energy of being something's hidden too but this is elusiveness you're elusive and it's like you don't reveal your whole hand and they love it and it makes them even more obsessed because they can't they can't read your mind they can't figure you out remember in twilight edward cullen can read everybody's mind but he cannot read bella's and it drives him fucking insane that's what this is this 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 feminine energy holds this power of i'm elusive and the masculine energy is just, I want to know. I need to know. I want to be all up in it. And, and this can also be that she's cutting him off sexually too and being elusive in that sense. But it has, she has this feeling of, I'm not revealing my whole hand. You're going to earn this from me. You're going to earn it. If you want to be inside of me, then you're going to earn your spot. Okay, I don't just freely give that no matter how badly she wants him inside of her and she does because this is a very strong deep connection You have the two of chalices, which is a two of cups Intimacy right two people feeling mutual love for each other This is love this could be the one Two people that fit nicely into place. So however, that's gonna work two people that just you fit nicely into me you fit nicely with me. I don't know how this is going to work. You're the perfect piece. You, you, we, we, it's something about the way it fits. Something fits. They fit perfectly. You're the perfect fit. And it, it, it kind of reminds me of like Goldilocks too. How it was like not too, not too hot, not too cold, but just right. Not too hard, not too soft, but just right. Not too big, not too little, but just right. The dangling is what I mean. Uh, <laughs> Not, it's just everything about them. It's like not to this, not to that, but just right. Perfect fit is what I'm feeling. A perfect fit, the perfect fit, perfect fit. Three of Pentacles. Teamwork, collaboration. Her legs are still closed, as you can see. The intimacy part is growing and growing and growing. That's what my plan is. 
I have a plan. And my plan is that I want to be corded first and I don't just want to jump into anything right away. And I want to be corded. This is her, she wants to be corded. She's making him prove it. So he didn't hit a home run right away. He did not. In many of these cards, they're not sticking it in. Actually, when I, when I, when I look at all the cards, many of them they're not. Ace of Chalices they are, yes. The two of chalices, possible, but it's not quite. We don't really know. It's like the ace of chalices is this fusion of the two of them. It's when two of them fuse together. And and, and it, like I said, it was like this, you know, um, it's like they consummate it then. But I don't feel like there's sex right away. And if there was sex right away, then this is not for you. Um, or that part of the reading is not for you that that one portion of it because remember if it's if it's general The whole thing may not be for you. The whole thing could be for you could be different snippets and parts But this is two people that kind of held out and I think it's because one person said fuck you You better earn me you better you better not be like the rest and you're gonna prove it to me I don't want to hear words out of your mouth. I want action And lo and behold They got action I cannot stop thinking about you. I'm obsessed. There's an obsession, sort of, but in a healthy way. It's a healthy obsession. So this is not where it's a creepy motherfucker trying to get in touch with you that you had to block. If you get blocked, that's fucked up. I always say this, that if, if the person I'm fucking with ever block me, you gonna be blocked for life. I'm not playing silly petty game. You block me, you're blocked for life a life sentence for me when you get blocked well, I'm, if i'm blocked well, I'm, I'm blocked you blocking who you blocking me oh bitch please no mm -mm. <laughs> no mm -mm. Mm -mm. that's the most offensive motherfucking thing i think that can happen besides i don't know there's other offensive things out in the world too i'm sure but like like being called a fucking clown like <laughs> I'm sure for men it's worse, but calling somebody a fucking clown, that's offensive because a clown is like, it's just, <laughs> um, hold on, sorry, somebody's texting me, knave of chalices, told you it's an obsession, it's this obsessive type of an energy, look at him, he's like writing these letters, crumpling them up, he's all fucking stressed out in the background, He's thinking about the fact that what if you're with other people? What if you don't want him like he want you? I'm imagining her with other people. It's like their imagination is running rampant too. The page of, excuse me, Knave of Chalices is the page of cups. Page of cups. I want to present something to you, but I don't know if it's enough. And it also feels like what whatever is being written down on this piece of paper, this communication, they're, they're thinking in their head, what if it's not enough? What if it's not good enough? What if it's not enough? What if it's not enough? They know you are of a high caliber. They know this, okay? The thing about it is, is that what it, um, hold on, please. Give me one second, guys, sorry. Sorry, give me one second. Hold on, you guys. Sorry. Okay. You have the Navy Chalices, which is this, I'm obsessed. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to proceed. I'm in my head, I'm in my head. Until this person can get you and, and really solidify that they have you, it's it's this total like in their head about it, freaking out, wondering if what, they can't sleep at night, they, they, they're not, they, they don't, they're not feeling settled. It's, and it quite necessary, it's, I kind of, it's sweet, because it's how they feel, they're like, uh, da, 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 da.
Hold on, guys. Sorry. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. Again, she won't stop. I swear to God, when I tell my team I'm doing something, stop. It's, oh, if you have a child, you know. Um, Five of Wands is this card of competition. Remember I was telling you they feel like, oh God, what if, what if this, what if that? And it, it, it's infuriating them for some of them. It's this jealousy thing. It's like, I want you, you, you have to be mine. I want you to be mine. You must be mine. I need you. You have to be mine. You're mine. I keep hearing it. You're mine. She's mine. He's mine. Really, really worried that there'll be competition stepping in. And for many, they know that there is competition. They know that there is competition here. So see, yeah, so here we go with the Queen of Swords, feeling emotionally detached because of the Three of Swords energy in the past, which was betrayal and fuckery, getting their heart broken, not being able to trust people. Right, so the Queen of Swords energy right here is that of I'm emotionally detached and I'm focused on me. This could also be air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. You have here the Three of Swords. I've been hurt in the past. I've been fucked over. I've been left. I've been cheated on. My heart may still be healing. I don't know. It's And this is why one person is a bit hesitant. Uh, you got to prove it because these other motherfuckers came in and fucked me over. And I'm not, I'm, it's, I'm too far along in this game over here in the healing process and in, you know, growth where I'm not going to entertain fuckery. But this is the thing. This is this, for, for whoever this is I'm channeling for, because it's not going to be for all of you. For some of them, they're scummy motherfuckers, okay, that you shouldn't be entertaining. They're crummy asses. But then for some of you, this is the one. Remember, that's how you know where you are in your ascension process too because you know right away, you can smell it from five miles away that it's fuckery. And if you're still getting duped, then you ain't further along as you thought, sis, okay? Uh, it's just not the way it works because we can't smell the fuckery from 10 miles away. Four of Wands is your last card. This is 11-11. This is a card of union. Look at them, two people fusing together. And I mean, now this is very obvious. It's intimate. So remember I was telling you in a lot of these cards, it doesn't look like they're actually having sexual intercourse except for the Ace of Chalices. It looks like they're being very intimate. So this is it being confirmed, right? The Four of Wands is we are going to be committed together. You are mine. This could be a marriage. This could be an engagement of sorts, right? With the Ace of Chalices. This is where it's taking it to the next level getting married moving in together but it's also two people here look at them they fit like a perfect piece together i mean she's you know going what is it reverse cowboy cow cowgirl she's going reverse cowgirl riding them cowboy absolute trust between these two people too both people it's as if, like, when I tell you it's a perfect fit, it's a perfect fit sexually, too. Meaning, like, let's say, for example, when you've had sex with other people, you can't come. You don't, orga you don't orgasm, right? They, they, don't, they, can't, they don't know how to get you off. These two people know how to get each other off. And for some of them, they're, they're having orgasms by sheer penetration, which for some women can be difficult, right? But then for some, they know how to, they know how to get their shit going. And then for some men, it just no matter how we do it, flip it or reverse it, we just can't do it because your shit just don't, it ain't doing it for us. It just, it ain't working. I don't care if I go backwards, forward, if I flip upside down on the motherfucker, I, it just ain't working. These people, it's like every single time. There's something about it. It's every single time through just sheer penetration that it happens as an orgasm of two people. Because it's, and you, it's almost like you feel like your two bodies were meant for each other almost or some shit like that. You know what I mean? This is gorgeous energy. All right, let's go ahead and get some Angel Answers cards out. I want to thank everybody who has purchased or excuse me, pre-ordered my uh, A Star is Born bracelets. They are completely sold out. 
Um, maybe in a little bit I'll add more, but for right now they're completely sold out. My good luck bracelets I think are also sold out too. You guys have meditation brings answers. Quieting the mind. Very high priestess mode too, the meditation brings answers. She's just extremely spiritual. Just trust. supposed to come out <gasps> no with an exclamation point Ooh! I always tell you guys when you get the yes or the no from this deck it's like you'll know what that is about you'll know that like some of you guys are, are like have already asked give me a sign and there's your sign to let go maybe for some of you you're thinking it's a particular person and this is your confirmation that spirits telling you no it's not I want to read the let go card from the book here so that you guys can hear what it says. I love it. The time has come to let go of the situation. Stop focusing on how or when it will be resolved or even why it occurred. Relationships that are unhealthy or unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry. God and your angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desires is to ask for what you want and then release it to heaven. If you've drawn this card, you may be holding on to tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish and then leave the rest to your angels. This is about surrendering and, and uh, allowing it to happen the way it's supposed to, not the way you think it's supposed to. And when I was just live a couple days ago on Instagram, that's the card I got from the Lover's Oracle deck was surrender. To surrender. That was the card, surrender. And I guess that's exactly what many of you need to do. Some of you are fighting this and going against the grain of it. And if it's meant for you, it's meant for you, you know, so everything will fall into place. But at the same time, you also can't reject things that are meant for you if it's a blessing. Sometimes people are so used to getting stabbed and, and, and being hurt that when someone presents them with a cup of love, they can't, they don't know what it is because they're so used to being stabbed. Do you know what I mean? So they literally, literally do not know what this cup of love is. Just because I've only seen daggers. Let me, I, it's going to take me a little bit longer now to differentiate between a cup and a motherfucking dagger, bitch. That's that kind of an energy. It's like, let me figure this out. It's just going to take time for whoever this is, okay? It's just going to take time. All right, you guys, I want to remind you that I am accepting some readings. I'm picking and choosing which ones I want to do based on availability because I'm going to slow down a little bit because of, you know, my family issue with my grandma. Thank you all so much for all of your prayers. You know, like I said, she's a, she's a, a, she's a fighter. And uh, that's where I get my strength from. So, you know, she's going to fight this. Uh, thank you all to the new subscribers and to my loyal subscribers because sometimes people be dipping when they don't get what they want and they don't like the messages and, you know, fair weather subscribers. Thank you to all the loyal ones, okay? And to all the new ones, you guys are in for a ride. Go and watch all my old videos so you guys can get caught up. And remember now, energy is fluid. So just because yesterday's didn't, um, you know, pertain to you doesn't mean all of last week's don't. Or next week's one won't either, okay? So people, they get real, mm, it didn't resonate. Mm. It's, time is a fucking illusion, boo-boos, okay? That whole energy right there of you being like that, with that stank kind of an energy, is why your shit ain't manifesting. You know, I mean, that's just the simple fact of it. Time is an illusion. Energy is fluid. We are just fluid with what it is. Today's one's not for me. It's cool. Next one's might be. Tomorrow's might be. Next week. So sometimes people will tell me that they run like a week behind so whatever i channeled last week is what's happening this week for them and everybody's a little different but you got to find what works for you okay but anyways thanks you guys i really appreciate it and thank you for all of the donations that you guys have sent me last week i love that you guys are so sweet i i just appreciate it more than anything okay thanks you guys i'll see you later love you bye